cool morning. Why did I do it this way? <sighs> Graceful. There was a dude just walking up the road there. In fact, dude might have been an impolite way of referring to him because he was an old gentleman. But he was just walking back briskly with his jacket on and his um, light coloured pants on with a newspaper clutched under his arm. This might be a huge assumption, but I'm, I am assuming that he is a retired gentleman who is at half past seven in the morning, briskly walking up the road to get his newspaper, probably going back home to have it with a nice cup of tea, before perhaps going down to the social club to play some bingo. And if he's feeling particularly sprightly, he may even do the Sudoku before lunch. I'm perhaps being a little bit mean, but I yearn for that day. I don't want to wish myself older, um, I don't want to waste away the years, but the thought of just getting up in the morning, um, putting on one's clothes and nipping to the shop to pick up the paper, um, it just seems a very, very pleasant lifestyle. My, my, my! What a long day. <laughs> there is a wee little bit of traffic to contend with. It is obviously the middle of the rush hour as well. Come on, I want a cup of tea. Last night was also the start of the third season. Third season? Yeah, third season of Homeland on Channel 4, which is a huge favorite in our house. Unfortunately, the time clashed with Downton Abbey, which Emma is also obsessed with. I thought we would watch Homeland um, pretty much live, give or take 10 or 15 minutes so you can fast forward through the adverts, rather than Downton, and then Emma could enjoy Downton at some other time. But Emma wasn't prepared to do that. She was like, no, it's, it's, it's Downton. We'll watch Homeland tomorrow. And I said, well, why don't we watch Homeland tonight? Because we both want to watch that. And then you can watch Downtown. Downtown? Downton in your own time. But I want to watch Downton. <laughs> and so, as always, we deferred to her wishes. So we've got um, Homeland to look forward to this evening, um, which I wasn't particularly pleased with last night. But now that we haven't watched it and we've got it available to watch tonight, um, at least that's something to look forward to tonight. Wow, and this bus is really close to me. Yeah, hey, beans. What do you mean you don't want beans? Beans are amazing. Beans, beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you... Right. But Just before you think about it, Dexter, the answer is no. And we've got another dog just entered the field as well. What's that? Oh my word, that looks like a polar bear. I don't know whether you can see it in the distance there. I've just had the positively odious task of changing our energy supplier. Actually, changing our energy tariff. We've stayed with the same supplier. Um, it's just one of those horrible things that you've got to do. Things that you, you know, you have to do once a year and then try and forget about it. Of course, um, the prices have gone up, of course, um, by quite a lot, by about 200 pounds a year. Brilliant. Um, so overall, it's, um, it's just a real pain in the ass. Gas and electricity are so expensive. How does that happen every time? Every time? This doesn't even make a noise now. Oh, Dex was just going mental with dreaming. Absolutely crazy. Weren't you, old boy? Hey?
Was that a fart? Was that a fart? Someone was dreaming. That was so cute. I wish I'd been able to capture that, but as soon as I turn the camera on, he stops. He always does that. When I had the old vlog camera, it made a beep every time he turned it on, and I'm sure he could hear that. Obviously, he's a dog, he's got fairly sensitive hearing. But this thing's silent. I turned off all of the beeps, and uh, it's absolutely silent. But just as I turned on the camera, he stopped. I'll give you an idea of what he was doing. He was going. Anyway, time for me to drag myself upstairs. So you do take care of yourselves, and I'll see you tomorrow.